Hey, howdy everybody. This is going to be a very quick video. What we're going to do is just demonstrate very quickly how to install the R kernel so that you can use Jupyter Notebooks with R code. And this is pretty useful. I found that there's some geostatistics functionality, specifically the, the gstat package, which is pretty good in R. And I want to demonstrate it to my class, but I know people are going to struggle with this step right here. So Anaconda is great makes everything much simpler in our lives. So what we can do is we can go to Anaconda under environments and we can just select our base install. And if we go here, we can, oh, we can go ahead and open a terminal window. Once we open a terminal window, we will get something that looks just like, just like this. And all we have to do is type in this command, conda install dash C R R IR kernel. And so where did I find that command? Specifically within the Anaconda docs, there was this right here, which talks about installing the R kernel for use with Jupyter Notebook. And it tells us that we can just open up a terminal and use this command right here. It will go ahead and install the R kernel. Once we've accomplished that, we have the R kernel available to us, then life is pretty simple for us. We can go ahead and if we open up Jupyter Notebooks and we get to this screen right here, we will see immediately that we have the opportunity to start a new notebook in R in, or in Python 3. So R is now available to us. And so I've already done that. That's available on GitHub. It's called Krieging Demo R Notebook. There'll be an IPython notebook and if you look through, you'll see that in fact, this is all our code. And in fact, it is running the gstat package from R and providing you all the outputs directly in our notebook. I mean, sorry, in Jupyter Notebook. What's really cool is that you can see the symbol right here. So you know that you're working with R and you've got all the nice parts about working in notebook, which a lot of my students like to work with. All right, so that's all I want to show you really quick. Next, I'll, sh I'll walk through this notebook and talk about doing some creaking inverse distance, looking at estimation variance in Jupyter Notebook. All right, thank you.